Hey guys, it is Pun Factor here. I just uh, jumped into a two-player queue. We're just getting ready to start up. Um, this hand, I'm going to go ahead and keep. Let me just kind of let you guys know what I'm playing here. Um, this is my Abzan Stone Blade list that I'm working on. The only change that I made, um, I'm, I'm trying Shadow Spear in place of Sword and Fire and Ice. Um, toss that over to the sideboard. I added two Avon Mind Sensors. Um, to the side and then everything else is pretty stock here what I've been running three stone forge mystics we have the discard package of four inquisitions three thoughtsies um, we have our spot removal in the way of paths fatal pushes abrupt decays assassins trophies um, our big threat package is four tormagoys and four night of the reliquaries a couple scavenging newses two dark confidants then of course we have three stone forges with batter skull sword of feast and famine and now Shadow Spear. We have a couple tireless trackers for some card draw and grind, and a Maelstrom Pulse. So let's get into the game. This is a good hand we're gonna keep. Um, I wish we had a path. We might just lose here on uh, turn one. Looks like we're going to actually. Pretty sweet. Just F6. Did they lose? We need a path. Beating this is gonna be very difficult. Okay, so they fizzled a bit. Let's see what they put. So let's just go ahead and inquisition them here. Um, there's an Eldritch Evolution. Another land. I don't care about Veil of Summer. Metamorphose is a card draw, but I think we have to get rid of Eldritch Evolution here. Let's just go ahead and pass. They can swing in here and then second main. Draw seven. Yeah, I feel like we're just gonna lose to the uh, Gristlebrand beats unless we draw a path off the top. absolutely hate this deck it's just not I don't even care that if I lose it's just not fun to play against I mean I lose plenty of games and it's no big deal it's just playing against something that's so just non-interactive like at least even like Titan Shift which is kind of the hallmark for you know very linear non-interactive decks at least there's like game there um, there are decisions to be made um, this is just kind of like I mean it's turn two and they're and they're just sort of comboing off um, you're really unable to do anything so we'll just f6 here let him go through his dance
Yes, we probably have. We well, has eight cards yet, and he can't draw more. So he'll have like a lab maniac. And then I'll have to cast Manamorphose. So I'm assuming he has another another Nourishing Shoal in hand. He'll Nourishing Shoal. He'll draw seven. Cast Lab Maniac. Cast Manamorphose. And win that way. Nourishing Shoal. Draw seven. Go down to one. Okay, so there's a Lab Maniac. Draw seven. Go into one. Draw seven more, and he wins. Cool. Good game, opponent. All right, so let's bring in Damping Spheres. Um, let's bring in Teagues. I want to bring in as much like interaction as I can. So like Maelstrom Pulse even. Maelstrom Pulse is actually really good for the Allosaurus Riders. So if they kind of fizzle and you disrupt them, they'll play out like four Allosaurus Riders. Uh, so Maelstrom Pulse there is really good. Um, I think Tracker is just a little too slow. Fatal Push hits nothing in their deck. Abrupt Decay. I guess Abrupt Decay can hit... Lab Maniac, and so can Push, actually. Um, I don't think we're going to care about Shadow Spear. Kind of want to bring maybe just two pushes back. Why don't we go down, probably go down a couple scavenging oozes. Those don't really do too much here. Try to run it like that. So what we're looking for, we're looking for very early hand disruption. I was going to say followed by a path to exile is kind of what we want. Um, this lines up very well, I think, with what they're trying to do. Uh, so we're going to look to take like an Eldritch Evolution or a Neoform. Let's see. Okay. Or they just have a Ley Line. Makes sense. They know what we're up to. So let's just go ahead and get Might as well just get an overgrown tomb. Do we want to play a damping sphere right now? I think we probably can. I don't think our life matters too much. So let's play the damping sphere out. The next turn we'll be able to play Teague. Plus keep up Path to Exile. Yeah, this deck is it, it's very um, mana tight because it doesn't need a lot to go off. So this Damping Sphere will really hurt them. See, and there's already one spell. Too, so their turn's done. It's unfortunate Inquisition's a dead card. Go figure. Um, why don't we go ahead and get out... Let's get a clock going. 
Let's just fetch up a forest. We could have played Teague there and kept up path, but I think this Damping Sphere is going to be tough enough for them to fight through. I might be wrong, but they don't even have a creature out, so they're going to have to play like Allosaurus Rider into Neoform. Yeah, I think that's going to tax them enough. So let's go ahead. We'll go here. Let's play a Teague. love this card look how gangster he is he's just awesome let's go and fetch up a planes and then let's just swing in start getting them dead here hold up path okay metamorphos Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and path this right now. Okay. So that seemed to work. So they might be taking out their ley lines assuming that you know they might just be assuming that I'm going to you know what even mind sensor here might not be bad we could actually probably take out crap I hit submit I didn't even think about that because they do Eldritch Evolution to search their deck that would definitely be a card to consider in the future The stars kind of have to align in that we need to be able to get to turn three. Typically, we're going to be doing that by either A, disrupting their hand, or B, uh, dropping a damping sphere if we can get, get to turn two. <laughs> that is, especially on the draw, it's going to be tough. We're, we're going to have to... On the draw, we're going to have to have an Inquisition or Thought Seize, and we're going to have to, you know, make our opponent, or hope our opponent doesn't have a Ley Line. I think that's kind of the, the path to victory here. I think this is too slow. Yeah, this is kind of what we're after, I think. Three lands. We'll drop one of the lands here. Keep up keep two paths okay there's the ley line yeah then maybe I should have taken out the um... inquisitions and thoughtsies stoneforge is okay Not great in this matchup because Stoneforge is just a pretty slow card in general. Um, it's actually interesting. Stoneforge, I'm not super high on Mystic. Um, I 
what are we doing here? Okay, and then we're gonna neoform. Okay. Do we path right now? I don't think so. Now we do it. Yeah, Teague is very good for the nourishing shoal. Not being able to cast it is sweet. It's kind of what's allowing them to go ham here. I've been running into this deck quite a bit. Like too much for me to really like it in the format. And I guess one nice thing is once you, you know, you play against it a bunch, you figure out how to beat it. But I I want to I want to play magic. I don't want to hope to hit you know certain cards in my first seven or you just lose it's just not not fun think i don't want to speak too soon but i feel like they may have fizzled here nope oh for x equals three so they're going to get one more draw So yeah, anyway, going back to Stoneforge Mystic, I um, I still don't know if I'm a huge fan of this card. I do like it in this deck that I have built only because, you know, if, if we look at the... Going from like green-white value town and we go to like this deck, um, I like that my two drops are threatening. You know, because I removed the birds and sort of the ramp package for more interaction with my opponent, which I'm I'm a huge fan of after playing it. I feel like it's it's way better. You have game against a lot of certain things that uh, Value Town just did not have game against. Um, so I like it that it's a two drop that replaces itself, plus it's it's another sort of must answer threat. Um, what is this crazy stuff? Wow. So, Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, Metamorphose. Lab Maniac. But they have to... Oh no, draw seven. That would be it. So, Simeon Spirit Guide. Spirit Guide. Yep. Manamorphose. You can do it. Go to six. Cards. Wait, but they can't draw seven here because they'll die. How will this work? This is interesting. Because they're out of nourishing shoals. 
Another Manamorphos. Are they just going to try to draw down this way? What else do they have to draw into their deck? Okay, so here's this. Is this going to be a Lab Maniac, I'm assuming? Summoner's Pact. For an Allosaurus Rider. They still have to draw seven on the stack. So what are we doing here? Lab Maniac? And then die? Yeah, okay, that's cool. See, that deck is just so dumb. It's so dumb. Like, I don't understand why people think that's fun. It's, it's so linear. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, and that's coming from a person that played Titan Shift for like a while. And that deck is incredibly linear, but has way more, way more lines. And that's saying a lot than, than the, the Neoform. And like, I understand Neoform is probably sort of tricky to pull off depending on, you know, when you pop your Nurse and Shoals. You know, especially in that game, it looked like our opponent was doing a lot of thinking, but like, it's such a one-sided game, it drives me insane. That's not why, in my opinion, we play Magic, you know? It's like, Magic's fun when you're interacting back and forth. But anyway, I get off my soapbox, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that very boring game of uh, Magic. It's, it was extremely fun. I'm glad we got to see Shadow Spirit do some work. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is good or not. It just seemed kind of fun. Um, kind of the reason I wanted to try it is it's a way to give my knight or goif trample. Um, and it also is another, it's a cheaper way to get lifelink. So let's say we drop mystic on two, we grab shadow spear on turn three. We don't have to wait for Stoneforge mystic to bring this into play we're able to play it for one and immediately attach it to something. Because um, that was kind of the problem, you know, with Mystic. It was like, well, and, and it is the problem with Mystic, is you play it, you get something, so say like a sword, and then your next turn you just kind of have to pass with two mana up. So you're looking to play, you know, keep up, you know, like a one mana spell, maybe Inquisition their hand or something. Um so for me, Stoneforge was always felt like a later game sort of card to play. And that's kind of why I went down to three, because I would much rather play a more, um, I hate to say impactful turn two play, but I wanted to play, for the lack of a better word, or term more impactful turn two, just because I didn't want to take turn three off to get one of these into play. Um... You know, but later on in the game, when I can tutor something up with Stoneforge, you know, play an additional two drop on the next turn while still holding up two mana. So, like, if I have four mana going into the turn um, after I drop Stoneforge, I'm fine with that because I can play another another two drop and uh, and get that online. But to me, Stoneforge is an A turn two play. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll be posting more and, and definitely plugging along with this this build of the sort of abzan value um hope you guys are enjoying it it's pun factor